Loading a local JSON file is frequently done with fetch, but that is not the only way to accomplish this. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a method for loading a local JSON file without using the fetch API. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript. As always, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember to check out the discount links to all my courses in the description. I really appreciate the support. And if you'd like, there are other ways to support the channel, which are linked to in the description as well. If you provide support through Patreon, you get access to all the code files. And for a list of all the tutorials I've done, which are over 230, you can go to the website as well. Now, for this tutorial, I need to give credit to Jay Tillman, one of our Patreon members. Not only did he suggest the topic, but he also provided this solution we're going to look at. The solution is similar to a solution used with Node and involves a technique used for loading modules in JavaScript. I've done a previous tutorial on using fetch to load a JSON file, and we'll link to that tutorial in the description for those that are interested. Now, there is nothing wrong with using fetch to load a JSON file. In fact, it works great, but like all things in JavaScript, there's usually more than one way to do things. This technique doesn't require using promises, and there is no need to parse the data once loaded, and so it might be preferable for some people. So here's the scenario. We have a local JSON file that we need to load as a part of a project. How can we do that without using fetch? Well, we can use the import statement meant for modules. We just have to make a minor adjustment. Let's take a look at it. Now, in my tutorials, I normally use Sublime Text since that is how I started all these tutorials several years ago. But in this one, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as shown here. This is the editor I use for the majority of my work now. In this case, I'm going to use it because it has a nice little extension called Live Server. Let me just show that to you really quick. I've got it installed right there. So nice little extension called Live Server. When this extension is used, you can serve up your pages with a local server. Since loading a JSON file requires a local server or placing the files on a live server to work, this is what I'm going to use to show the results. So first off, I have this HTML file, present.html. This has the same content as what I'm showing here, all right? exact same content. That's the same HTML file. Then I have a JavaScript file. Right now there's nothing in it. And here's the JSON file I'm going to load. So very simple. Just has a couple of names in an array. Uh, two objects with names in an array. That's what we're going to load. Just to show that we're able to do that. So let's take a look at the solution. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to make a change to the script tag. So currently, I have a script, two script tag here. There's one for start.js. This has some code that does some things for when I'm presenting these files. If I want to go to another HTML page or something like that, it has some code for managing all of that. So it's not really the code we use for the tutorial. However, the app.js file is always the code that I use for the tutorial when I'm doing these. And so that's why I have both of these attached. Now, we need to make a change to this one here because this is where we're going to do the loading of the JSON file. That's where we're going to put the code to the loading. We're going to use the import statement, which is intended for modules. That's why it was created for modules. And so, in order to make that work for us, we have to set the script type here to module like that. And this will allow us to use that import. All right. So I've made that change first in the HTML file. Now, if I come over to app.js, here is where I can use the import statement. So it looks like this. Users is where I'm going to place whatever is imported, okay? And now I indicate what I'm importing. 
Now, the JSON file is contained within this JSON folder right here. And that JSON folder is, is in the exact same location as the pre present.html and app.js file. So I will start from the current location dot, and then I'm going to go down to the JSON folder and grab sample JSON like that. So that's what I'm going to load. All right. Now the trick is this is normally what you would enter for an import statement if you're loading a module. But the trick is this is a JSON file. So we have to use an assert to indicate such. And so we do assert and then inside of curly braces here, type and string JSON like that. So this is what's required in order to load a JSON file after you set the script tag to type module. Now, just to show that we're loading everything, I'm just going to do a console log statement here and log users. Because basically what's inside of this is going to be placed in users. And that's how we would access it. That's how we would continue to work with that JSON file if we needed to. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now we need, as I mentioned, we need to serve this up on a local server in order to see it working. So the way I do that with the live server extension in Visual Studio Code is I simply click go live. And that's going to launch a new page for me. And as you can see, it's the page we were looking at. It's the same page we were looking at. And then if I go to the console, I should see the array and it's showing the data from the JSON file. So that went ahead and it loaded correctly. Now, let me just show you what would happen if we left this part off. So I'm just going to save that. We get this message here, fair to load module script. Expected a JavaScript module script, but the server responded with a MIME type of JSON here. So it knows that we're loading a file different from what it thinks we should be loading. Because traditionally when we're loading modules, we load JavaScript files. And so that is the reason for that assert in order to indicate that it is a JSON file that we're going to be loading. So once that's done, then it loads correctly. Now, really quick, let me just show you one more thing. I have this same file, exact same file here, pulled up just as a local file, not through a local server. I have that over here. And that's what we we're looking at initially. So it's not through a local server. This is the error you would get if you weren't doing it through a local server. Access to script gives all this stuff from origin null has been blocked by course policy cross origin request. This all sounds very confusing, but basically the reason this error message pops up is because we are not loading this through a local server. And the thing we're trying to do on that JavaScript file requires this to be on a server. All right, so that's why we're getting that. So that is our solution. Two changes in the HTML file, and then we use the import statement in the JavaScript file. All right, please hit that like button and subscribe, and remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. I release new tutorials as often as I can. And once again, thanks for watching.